Welcome again to Tech Unplugged at Insight. Uh, now I am with Andy Banta, which is storage janitor at uh, SolidFire NetApp right. now. NetApp, yeah. SolidFire, SolidFire NetApp, however yeah, you want to call it. Uh, it's confusing, I have to say, <laughs> but, but it's okay. Uh, so you always talk about the death of the storage admin, right? Yeah, the, the death of the storage admin. <laughs> what does it mean? So, uh, SolidFire has, has tried to put together storage that it's intended for storage consumers, not for storage admins. Uh, uh, in fact, I think uh, Dave Wright said it best where he said, uh, we make storage for people who fucking hate storage. <laughs> and uh, the whole idea is that uh, we wanted to create some storage, storage that was easy to manage, easy to provision, uh, easy to expand, and uh, Allow, allow the consumer of that storage, so in, in cases of a VMware configuration, the VMware administrator, in cases of uh, OpenStack, for an OpenStack administrator, to be the one who divvies up the storage, provisions it, and allocates it to the uses, rather than actually having to go through the cycle of talking to the storage admin, getting the storage provisioned the way that you want it, and you know setting it up for that particular purpose. Okay, it's all about automation, it's all about, uh, you know, self-provisioning. Doesn't right. it bring a problem? Uh, uh, because you are moving up to the stack, so the, you don't admin storage, but actually you, you are giving up a little bit on that, right? Right. And uh, so what are the mechanisms that help to contain these developers? Because some are, sometimes it's risky. Well, it's... Uh... It's risky if, if that's the way that you want to manage storage, but if you actually come at it with a, a very simple uh, storage appliance like a, a solid fire cluster, um, there's not that much configuration you need to do to it. Um, there's, uh, the, the biggest thing with solid fire storage is the ability to set guaranteed levels of QoS. Mm -hmm. And yes, the storage admin can do that, but through policy-based uh, management with VMware and through uh, um, container policies uh, with OpenStack, those admins can actually set, do the QoS settings and not have to involve a storage admin. So the whole idea is that we can get the storage admin out of the way and... Right, but, but again, so, sorry, I, I, I was a storage admin and, and, uh, and so and, and what and about monitoring something. and what about uh, you know, capacity planning? Uh, so what, what do you do to solve this kind of problems? Uh, well, I mean, you, there's of course monitoring issues that have come up, but uh, again, the, the monitoring that, that goes on with SolidFire is uh, fairly basic information that gets provided. Um, it also reports back to SolidFire in general on, on where, um, what the capacity of the uh, cluster is, uh, how, how the provisioning is going, and so both uh, the, the IT management at the organization and SolidFire will know, hey, it's time to maybe start looking at, at, at adding additional nodes, or if you get to that point, maybe it's time to start looking at where, what the workloads are and maybe trying to do some cleanup uh, so on your own. But proactive. It, uh, yes, ex level. exactly, it's proactive. Thank that's you good. for answering your own question. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's great. And, um, you know, now that we are talking about uh, a lot of OpenStack, yesterday we had a guy from CloudStack, Kubernetes, so all these nice things, but still VMware is an important part of your That's business, right. right? So, and um, I, I saw a, uh, a presentation, it was at the Analyst Day in, uh, in April. Uh, right. Very nice about VVolts and uh, so it, it's quite nice because you know, right. the, you, you are you are uh, making uh, VVolts very, very easy to understand and to consume. Th that's right, and uh, you know, VVolts actually we just released VVolts with our Element OS nine flooring release, and uh, the whole idea with VVolts was that again you can do it entirely from the VMware administrator's perspective. Uh, the VVolts are, are allow you to have uh, granular QoS at the VM level or even at the virtual disk level. And this is something the VMware administrator can configure on his own and never have to actually go talk to a storage admin. Um, our goal for, uh, for VVols is to actually make it so there would be no interaction with the storage admin at all once you actually turn on the virtual volumes feature on, on the SolidFire cluster. In that case, uh, the, v, the vSphere admin should be able to go in and set up the storage containers that are necessary, 
uh, allocate VMs automatically using um, using storage policy tags when uh, VMs are created, mm -hmm. and be able to use uh, the, um, the VM storage policies for the individual VMs or for the individual virtual disks, and have uh, it and be able to set the QoS through the vSphere admin. So one of the big things that we were looking at with uh, with virtual volumes is the idea that storage policy based management really comes into play. This is the, the way you take advantage of that VMware feature. Yeah. Um, another piece that uh, that's interesting for vSphere admins or admins in general is uh, virtual volumes actually increases the number of objects you need to play with, but um, with uh, the DevOps type of approach to, to administering uh, infrastructure at this point, um, automation should be able to take care of all this for you. Um, one of the things that SolidFire has done is actually uh, pushed a few power CLIs out there to be able to do things like migrate VMs uh, in mass and change the policies in mass. Uh, these work on any storage system. They're not SolidFire specific, but they were things that actually work well with our automation, so we made them available to the public. That's quite cool, I would say. Yeah. So, so where we can find more about uh, this technology and this uh, uh, you know, tools? Well, the solidfire.com blog actually tells uh, um, covers an awful lot of the DevOps, an awful lot of the automation, uh, an awful lot of the VVOLs that we're doing. Uh, and keep uh, pay attention to it for the next few weeks because we actually have a handful of uh, blogs queued up talking about more about VVOLs and more about DevOps. Um, my compatriot Josh Atwell uh, writes an awful lot about DevOps. Um, you can also uh, go to github.com slash solidfire and see the various different projects that uh, Solidfire has provided to the open source community and has made available for everybody to use. Again, I said they're, they work well with Solidfire, but they will also work with other vendors as well. That's great. Yep. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Thank you.